request. The Jerry Springer Show Part 2. That's right. There were so many great Springer clips this year that the Talk Soup staff had to have two shows. It's an embarrassment of riches. <laughs> or maybe just an embarrassment. Well, <laughs> Coming up, toothless clan members, pregnant strippers, a hot tub party, plus, uh-oh, it's time to feed baby. <laughs> Go. Sure, it's cute until you realize he isn't potty trained. Oh. <laughs> Candy thinks her husband, Jamie, is having an affair with his own cousin, Penny. Penny only lives three trailers away, and her double wide has been doing some suspicious rocking. <laughs> Up next, my patented Springer Cam confirms those suspicions as she pays a surprise visit to Penny's mobile home. What the hell? Yeah, that's what it is. Now, uh, you may be wondering how the Springer cam manages to get so close to the action. Well, it all comes down to the camera's design. You see, with its monster truck like shape, the Springer cam fits right in at the trailer park. Plus, it emits Pap's blue ribbon beer fumes that draw trailer park dwellers within camera range. And finally, a pleasing Kmart blue light special siren, both intrigues and calms, with a promise that a sale on Crisco is near at hand. Oh, Crisco. Picture this. The studio was set for a beautiful wedding. Chris was about to marry his cross-dressing lover, Chanel. The gazebo was in place, a reverend of questionable credentials was hired, and a deposit had been put down in the reception hall. That's when Trinity walked in, also wearing her wedding gown. Who's Trinity? A cross-dresser Chris had a brief fling with. He was determined to destroy his ex-lover's happiness. I now pronounce you partners in life. You may kiss. Poor Trinity, always a bridesmaid, never a groom. But that was a touching ceremony, especially the part where Chris lifted up Chanel's dress and put the ring on. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Russ and Tom were once the best of buddies, but then Russ decided that Tom wasn't man enough to please his girlfriend and proceeded to sleep with Tom's old lady himself. Now, you'd think since he and Tom were friends, Russ might feel a tad guilty, but that wasn't the case at all. In fact, he was beating his chest when he faced off with Tom, or maybe beating his breasts is more like it. This guy was stacked. <laughs> Wait, let me ask you this. Why, why do you think she wants to be with you? I mean, look at you. You're a fat, sloppy pig, man. That was Tom. He also goes by the nickname Slim Fast Shady and K2. <laughs> Stay tuned. We've got more of the best of Springer still to come. We'll go inside the pad. Volunteering for the homeless, she's actually meeting a secret lover at a sexual fetish club. Now, in this clip, Nadine and her lover Sam engage in their horny hobby. Come on, Sammy. Gotta eat it. Yeah. Here you go. Here comes the airplane. Wow. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh, give me another kiss. Oh, thank you. To think he almost won Florida. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what a sweet baby. They're cute until they reach the terrible 32s. <laughs> the title of this next clip is Transsexual Secrets Revealed. Now, the crowd is on fire, and the air is filled with sexual tension. Daryl has introduced his transsexual lover to his girlfriend, Misty. Now that we've been given a clear setup, let's enjoy the gender-bending fun. So you go do me like this? What do you mean I'm going to do you like that? You was doing that while you was doing me? You're wasting all your time, Daddy. You're wasting all your time. You really are? What? Get off my girl, though. Get off my girl, though. Get off me. Get off me. Yeah, it's all. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, wait. Did you know? <laughs> Steve, Gee, I don't know what went wrong. I understand Talk Soup has a, a tranny on the staff, and he's perfectly well behaved. <laughs> Damn, it's amazing what you can get for non-union help. Oh, 
I'm gonna do her little thing. <laughs> I was wondering when I came in the door this morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. You guys are lucky. <laughs> Keith and the all knowing, all seeing Springer Cam recently caught his girlfriend Ebony in the act of prostitution. Ouch. That's got a smart. Yeah. But even more pain inducing, Keith found out that his own uncle Ice is Ebony's pimp. Oh. Here, Ice tries to convince Keith not to worry with his philosophical perspective that it's all good. We teamed up. Now we're getting both. You getting the love, I'm getting the money. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm the one that lives in the ghetto and, and wake up to roaches. You know what I'm saying? You, you a, a rich white man living in a white man's world, eating caviar, wearing Amani suits and gator shoes. You know what I'm saying? Jerry, you living in a white man's world. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you convinced me I'll become a hooker. <laughs> white man's world, huh? I love White Man's World. <laughs> it's an amusement park and gated community. Try the giant caviar slip and slide, Mr. Toad's wild limo ride, and Frontierland, where you can learn how we destroyed our Native American brothers. White Man's World. It's the whitest place on earth. <laughs> Still to come on Springer Soup, a look at pig farmer that now for a seedy bisexual love triangle straight from America's heartland. Terry and Tony are gay lovers in a small town, but something has come between them lately. And that something is Terry's own mom, Teresa. She betrayed her son by having an affair with Tony. Now, in this clip, the sensitive lad reacts to the news. Oh, yeah. And then you're sleeping with my mom? I'm going to kick your ass. I don't want to be with you, Tony. I don't want to be with you. That's and fine. as far as this goes, I can just oh, back. I don't know. This tells me how much you love me. That you would sleep with my man. Ah, oh, quit crying. Yeah. By the way, you're adopted. Oh. I think we may have a body double here. You see, Teresa kind of looks like comedy writer and Hollywood Square star Bruce Valange. Oh. No, that's not it. How about filmmaker Michael Moore? Oh. Nope, still not right. Hey, what if we combine the two guys? Hey. Hey. There you go, it's a match. I should be a genetic engineer. <laughs> Missed your calling. Allison thought Kenny, her husband of 23 years, was cheating on her. So she gave us a call and we put the Springer cam on his tail. We eventually caught him with a woman named Donna. But they weren't fooling around. Oh, there were sheets involved, but they were wearing them over their heads. You guessed it. They were engaged in covert clan activity. Here Donna and Allison meet and greet. It's not fat bitch, it's Miss Fat Bitch, you. So classy. She's the kind of lady that raises her pinky when she burns a cross. Oh, that's classy. <laughs> Anita loves her boyfriend Bobby, and Bobby loves Anita. They plan to live a long, happy life together. Well, things would be great except for one pesky fact. Bobby is already married to Carolyn. We thought it would be fun to send the Springer cam with Anita as she paid a visit to Bobby at his wife's house. Chill out! Chill out! Hey! Get up there! Don't do this! The way those two women ran reminds me of the work of Sid and Marty Croft. It's like Sigmund the Sea Monster chasing H.R. Puffin stuff. <laughs> Coming up after the break, a swinging pig farmer and his gracious mistress. Welcome back to Springer Soup. Now, this final clip is going to completely screw with your concept of the mild-mannered pig farmer. <laughs> you're, you're about to meet Tom. Now, he's been married to Sandy for over 13 years, but lately, Tom has been going hog wild with a farmhand named Bonnie, if you'll pardon the analogy here. <laughs> Uh, as strange as it sounds, this pig farmer is a ladies' man with a makeout pad that resembles a white trash version of the Playboy Mansion. Sweet. In this Springer Camp confession, Tom tells his wife about the squealer he's being seen on the sly. You run my other girlfriend Bonnie off. I said I used to put her in this swing here. Ah, yeah.
a nice box of wine, some Cheetos, the hot tub. It really gets the blood pumping, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now, when they emerged from the water, they both had a nice rosy glow about them. Actually, it was more orange than rosy. Of course, that Cheeto powder sticks like white on trash. <laughs> And that wraps up another year of fun on the Springer Show. I'd like to thank the Talk Soup staff for putting together this best of special, and uh, you for tuning in. Happy holidays. Yeah! Yeah!